but this one time, should I tell this? I think so. It's a deep, dark story. I think that would be great. I'm not going to say names. I'm not going to say names. Um, Drake was there. Same and right, you talking today. <laughs> what is this song? I don't know, Rye. I can't follow what you're saying to me. That's not the podcast anyway, so let's start the podcast. Sam and Rye. Is this, is, is this She Will Be Loved? Yeah, okay. <laughs> The incomparable, the incomparable, she will be loved. <laughs> <laughs> How's it going? That was nice. Yeah. What a nice way to start the... The pood? The pood coost. The pood coost. Welcome to Samurai You Talking, everybody. I'm Sam. <laughs> She's right. And we're going to start talking now. And That's Bob we're... behind the camera done talk wait <laughs> so we're and we've started we talking started talking already, already. exactly N- nailed it high five yeah got it got it <laughs> good boom work there bobby Great. shut up i just said good job take a compliment Don't make it you weird. cut him off with your eyes there yeah I did. it is like daggers i know how's it going pretty good we're pretty, pretty exhausted today. I'm toasty pants. You're toasty pants? I'm toasty pants too, if you know what I mean. <laughs> I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm toasty like those marshmallows we were. Yeah, that was a pretty good part outside. of the day. Toasting and roasting the marshmallow. Yeah, we're toasted, but we're still roasted. Yeah. Roasting. We had a busy week. Want to do B and We? Yeah. Okay. Do you want to start? Best part of my week was starting to have a lollipop every night with you. Aww. On our chairs. On our chairs outside. <sighs> because you're you've quit smoking. I did, huzzah! <laughs> and I love quitting smoking. It's my favorite thing not to smoke. It's I don't even know why people smoke anymore. <laughs> um, There's nothing good about it. But you kind of missed having something to do. Yeah. And then it. I thought, what if we have a lollipop? So I went and got a bunch of lollipops for you to try. Yeah. And we just have a bucket of lollipops that we... It's fastly, it's quickly dwindling. Fastly dwindling. It is fastly and swiftly <laughs> becoming gone. It's becoming <laughs> Too tired for this. <laughs> I thought you said in due time. In due time. <laughs> In due time there. <laughs> we'll crack one open. <laughs> um, but yeah, we have a lollipop outside yeah, on our chairs. That, it's the best. That we refurbished. Refurbished? Refurberations. Yeah, we're refurbished. What do we call that? Got refurnished. We refurnished and refurbished <laughs> <laughs> the furniture. <laughs> we got refurniture. I hate, I hate refurnitured. <laughs> that was that's your best part. Yeah. Well, that's cute. I I really appreciate that you did that for me. That was really nice. Mm-hmm. It was nice. It's nice to have uh, another addiction that uh, I'm just like it's 50 calories, <laughs> and it it takes longer than uh than smoking would would do. Really? It, yeah. It, yeah. You find that? I do find that. Well, I mean, <laughs> you could you could make smoking last that long. Right. I'm just I'm just having more cigarettes. Yeah. Or joints. Yeah. yeah. It's like. Two joint well, not really to, cigarettes. I don't to smoke one cigarettes. lollipop ratio. Yeah, I just want, I don't smoke cigarettes. Yeah, he doesn't smoke cigarettes. I mean, like not all the time. <laughs> he smokes basil. It was just basil and oregano. <laughs> just to, it's just something to do. He literally just needs something to do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's not about smoking anything. Yeah. Now I'm just smoking ham. I have a smoker. <laughs> I'm smudging. I'm, I'm doing a lot of uh, sage smoking Inhaling around the house. Yeah. Sage. Yeah. <laughs> is this a smudge? I just go into the mountains of Kamloops and light the sage on fire and smell them. It makes me feel <laughs> good. It makes me peaceful. Yeah. Yeah. The communities it burns you towards, do that. You it does do not that. make them peaceful. <laughs> you name about? a better way of, sm- of, of smelling sagebrush. 
oh yeah you're smoking yeah right no the lollipops have been really good if anyone's wondering like how to quit and the, here's the thing here's the upsetting thing here anyone who wants to quit smoking this is all you gotta do is super easy just eat candy and just if, eat candy and if you still want to smoke after that you're a liar yeah you're a liar you're lying to yourself <laughs> <laughs> What were you going to say? I was going to say, it was really, I hated that uh, when I stopped uh, the first time, well, like when I actually, when I stopped for a long time, mm-hmm. uh, it seemed pretty easy. Mm-hmm. I was like, you know what? It, 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 it was fine. I, I kind of wish the act of smoking, but I was, I was okay. It also was easy because I didn't have to stop. Uh, I still did edibles. <laughs> right. <laughs> so yeah, I was yeah, still yeah. doing the drug. Yeah. And then, uh, and then I slowly stopped doing all that stuff. Uh, and it went really well. And then we had a party night. And I was like, I can do one night. I, now I've got a control over it. And now I know how to handle it. It's I fine. had found you had lost it. So yeah. you didn't have anything in the house to do. Like you threw out all your stuff to smoke. Yeah. Because you were so serious. It was serious. a good idea. Yeah. But you had lost your dry herb vape. Yes, is that I what did. it's called? That is what it's called. Um, you lost it a long time ago. And I happened to find it. Yeah. And I know. Where'd you find it? Um, outside <laughs> in the backyard on the arm of the chair. Yeah. There. It rained a lot during yeah. that time. I'm yeah. surprised it still works. Yeah. So you thought you could, you could do that. And yeah. Feel, feel and I had okay. an emergency supply left over that I was supposed to drop off at my friend's house. Yeah. And I was like, I don't have anything to smoke this with. And you found that. And then I was just been looking at that thing. <laughs> and then, and then we did that. Uh, we went to the golf, uh, uh, golf-a-thon thing we were yeah. we, uh, heckled everybody yeah which we're having another one tomorrow yeah yeah we're doing another one tomorrow we're so busy we're so busy you know what? guys wouldn't believe how busy we are you stinkers oh we're exhausted with how busy exhausted we are with how busy we are with the work so many things There's going so on so right many now. things um well, what was i saying oh yeah yeah so that night we had a big party day because they ha- just gave us that machine the margarita machine the margarita machine <laughs> so we we tapped into that a little bit and <laughs> when i got home i thought that i can totally have some smokes from just a vape and, and yeah, some uh, puffs some puffs just some toot toot on the old weed horn and i thought it'd be good and then and quitting the second time was the worst <laughs> thing i've ever done I was angry. He was. He got real I got, snarky. I was. I was not having a good he time. He was grumpy. I think I did a good job coming to you grumpy and saying, "This is why I think it's good for me. Yeah, I think it's a good know. idea if I start smoking again, and here's why." And then you would listen to me, and then you'd say, "You, what are you like? You're like, sure." <laughs> <laughs> You're like, okay, go do okay, it. Go then. do it then. And I was like, I don't like that. I don't like that. It doesn't seem like you're supporting me. It just seems like you're tell- you're telling me to go do it if I'm going to go do it. And I want you to agree with me that it's a good thing for me. And I would. <laughs> you refused, which yeah. is probably a good play, considering I haven't smoked again. Uh, um, but yeah, there was a few days like I I it, I did have to smoke a few times to- a bunch. Yeah. And like and again, it was quickly to every night. Yeah. And then it was every night. It just, I was looking at the time. Mm-hmm. Like, when can I do this? Mm-hmm. And uh, when is it acceptable? If, mm-hmm. if I were to be drinking this much, when would people not look at me weird? Right. At what time? Right. You know? Uh, so, no, that, the second time was really hard. Thanks for sticking with me. <laughs> thanks, for, <laughs> thanks for quitting TikTok for a little bit. Yeah, you're welcome. That was really nice. I didn't, I called that, you called my bluff. I didn't want you to stop TikTok. <laughs> Yeah, he was so grumpy, and then he yeah. was like trying to. F- he tried to turn on me, and he was like, "I got angry." He's like, "Well, TikTok's just as bad. It's just as bad as smoking TikTok." So you and you're just so addicted to that. And I went, "Yeah, okay, here you go." And I deleted it. And he, he's like, "I don't. You don't have to do that. You don't have to do that. <laughs> you don't have to do that." And it was fine. It was fine. And now I feel like a jerk. I just didn't want you. I just wanted you to go. You're right. I can't stop it. But I forgot you're so good at enduring torture. I would have been happy to not ever have TikTok again. My thing is that like, like if that's how you, you actually viewed it, then yeah, yeah, I don't have to have TikTok if it like (laughs) affected you like that. But, um, I only use TikTok when I'm like when I actually want to, and I'm good at stopping. Yeah, I wish I could. I do don't that. get sucked in like you do. I get sucked right in. I know you do. It's it goes by so quick. Yeah, not you for look me. up and it's dark. I keep my eye on the time. Yeah. Um, yeah, and I always like do the thing where I'm scrolling and I'm like, okay, next ad. 
next ad I oh, see. Oh, you talk to yourself. Yeah, next sponsored whatever yeah. I see, I'm shutting it down. So I only get like three more. It's that young brain. I can't even see when there's an ad. I go, what's this video about? Yeah, it know. takes me a while to go, oh, they're selling something. I know. No, it's a I'm, commercial. I've watched you do that where you don't skip it right away. And I'm like, what is he doing? Sometimes they do a good job hooking in the first one second. <laughs> There's a new there's a new algorithm for marketers. You gotta hook them in half a second now. <laughs> you have three seconds and you gotta World hook them in fast. a half. Roll through them fast. What do you got? How much? Where? <laughs> <laughs> it's an, I can't. It's too much for my brain. So I, I go. What if What if I stop? Then no one's gonna be watching these. I have to watch <laughs> them for everybody. <laughs> then no one's gonna be watching these. Did you ever hear the, uh, I hate, I hate, I hate all this stuff. I hate that I get sucked into it. Have you heard the, the expression, if you don't know what they're selling, you're the, you're the product. So like TikTok, you're the product. You need to keep scrolling. They need to make it the most right. addicting thing. Yeah, but I'm, I don't have to. You don't. You're really smart. Like I put it down when I'm ready to go to bed. The only time I'm on it is like. If I need to numb my brain, like yeah. if I'm waiting to leave for an appointment, mm -hmm. I, it's really hard for me to, I'm ready 10 minutes before I have to leave. And then I have 10 minutes of just sitting there, like not being able to focus on anything because oh, I'm wow. just nervous about leaving the house. So then, or like to, it's usually like to go to a doctor appointment or mm -hmm. a therapy or a dentist, things that I don't necessarily want to go to. Okay. So I get so anxious and then TikTok is like, it'll just numb my brain for 10 minutes and yeah. then I can, it'll go by faster and then I can go. Like yeah. That's I use how it. people should smoke weed. That's how I hey, use it. Hey, this is good for a few minutes. This is a fun time when I need it. Yeah. And, uh, and I'm just like, this is great. Let's do this again. <laughs> I like this all the time. I a lot. I don't know what's happening in my brain. It feels real happy right now. <laughs> and when I stop, it's not happy. It's a lot. Of, it's a lot of people dying, which is surprising, <laughs> but I'm, I'm love. I just keep, I hope for the next one. I hope the next one's better. <laughs> I watch people die way too much. Like, I see people get like horrendous. Yeah, online. my videos. Yeah. yeah. What's that app? Is it from the app you use? Well, I mean, I watch that app. That does that. I mean, yeah, that that's where you can see some dead bodies right away if you want to. But it's it's just a war app. It is just like live stuff yeah. from Ukraine and Russia. Um, it's crazy there. Yeah. <laughs> Every time I watch one of those videos and you're like, oh, wow. And you're like, oh. <laughs> and it just looks like a field. <laughs> and it just looks like a field. <laughs> it looks like a bush fell over. Yeah. Like I bet it you see it. <laughs> it doesn't look like it anything. It looks like a bush fell over. Like I there can't is, see anything dramatic. The crazy part about that, it's all, it's the app's called Funker 530 or 540. Funker, they just like put in Funker. It's the only one. I don't know why put, they put three more numbers with it. But I think there's look a bunch of apps fun, named Funker. Funker. F U N. That's why they had to add the numbers. Uh, but you can see what's actively going on in the world. Like unedited videos is coming from drones. Like there's so many drones in the Ukraine right now. And there's videos of a drone going over top of a soldier. Like the camera is looking down from the drone's perspective. Mm -hmm. And the soldier sees him. And those the drones hold grenades now. And they just go over top of people and drop them mm -hmm. is what they're doing. And this guy is pleading, like, please don't drop it on me. Please don't drop it on me. And you can see him clear as day. And then, and then uh, I've seen one where it drops it on him. <laughs> Spo oh, spoiler man. alert. And he gets out of the way, but you'd tell it hit his legs a little bit. But oh. uh, then there's another one where uh, a Russian guy, uh, a Ukrainian um, a drone finds a Russian guy. And he's begging to, like, let me escape, let me surrender. If they see me surrendering, they'll shoot me, like his comrades. Mm -hmm. So if he's seeing uh, surrendering, they'll just kill him. Or if he goes back or whatever. So the drone, like, directs him where to go. And he, like, he's say writing things. And the drone is going up and down for yes, side to side for no. And then he walks him to where he's safe, tells him to put it, like, drop his weapons. And then they, and he just walks in and he surrenders. So I got to watch that whole thing. That was crazy. But then other Whoa. times, and other times it's please don't drop that. Uh, drop it already. <laughs> <laughs> there is that. <laughs> wow, that's pretty cool. Yeah, from the Ukrainian's perspective, I saw a Russian throw a grenade from like I don't know two widths of this these rooms away, just right at him. He ducked. It went over his head and exploded. 
Mm. It's crazy. Badass. Pretty badass. Pretty good ducking skills. <laughs> um, do you ever think like, do you think they surrender and then do you ever think that they become like friends? Yeah, probably. They probably like switch sides. Probably, yeah. That guy. Besties. Just because they're besties. I feel like they'd end up being like, that's what I would do. Yeah. If Your I name's would... Sasha, my name's Sasha. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be like, yeah, no, I'd want to be the friend. Even if I was surrendering to yeah. the other side. I feel like I would do that no matter what. I feel like if I got captured by I'd start Al Qaeda, I'd be like, I don't know. I see what you guys are doing. <laughs> pretty good guy. Pretty good prisoner over here. <laughs> yeah i would just be very helpful and that's I'd for the... sure switch immediately would you switch to al-qaeda i'd switch sides if Who i do got, you want me to kill if i got trapped yeah <laughs> <laughs> they give you a rocket they're like shoot down that plane that's over top and you go yep yeah <laughs> yeah i'm switching sides he goes and to aim you <laughs> oh you've already shot them down interesting okay have you done this before <laughs> Um, yeah, even like if I was Russian, yeah, switch over, I'd switch over. It's like a game Ukraine, of tag to you. It's like whoever that, tags me, I'm on that team. If the Ukrainian president caught me, I'm staying. <laughs> <laughs> what if Putin caught you? I'll scream. You'll scream? I'll scream. You'll scream for Mother Russia? <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I changed my mind. You'll scream in support. I would, not, <laughs> I would not switch over to the Russian side. I would fight that. You would fight that? Yeah. Yeah, that inequality? Yeah. Mm -hmm. But if I was switching over to the Ukrainian side... It's easy. You're Ukrainian. <laughs> I'd be like... But I'd be like, get me in touch with the president. <laughs> They'd be like, here's the I front just, lines. I just want to see the president. <laughs> <laughs> Can I please see the president? I was trying to learn <laughs> because I watched... Um, I think he does a David Letterman episode like the my next guest needs no introduction right i think president Zelensky does an episode of that Have oh yeah seen yeah it? no i haven't seen it so i watched it and then i was like oh my god he's so cool yeah so i started trying to learn ukrainian i downloaded yeah you told me that i downloaded duolingo i know <laughs> to try and learn ukrainian <laughs> did you get much in, into it i i got pretty good at it can you say anything not right now because i'm way too nervous okay all right it's too much on I think the spot. We, I think we talked about this on one of the first episodes. Did we? I think so. That's funny. Yeah, because I was telling I you about how I did uh, I did um, the Rosetta Stone for German while I was in the army because mm -hmm. I was bored. And uh, I only learned how to say, du bist, uh, well, I already know how to say, du bist ein scheiße Affe, which means you are a shitty monkey. Mm -hmm. Or I can also say, das Jungen unter einem Flugzeug, which means the child is underneath the plane, mm -hmm. which I think is funny. Yeah, that is funny. Yeah. That's it. That's a good one. Yeah. Those are good. Good things to know. I mean, those are, that's a good two yeah. phrases. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, yeah, I guess, yeah, I would flip flop. Are you a flip flopper? Of what? Like, would you go? No. You wouldn't switch sides? If you I were, wouldn't switch sides If mentally? you're a Russian soldier and you get kidnapped, you're like, fight the no. power. That's that's so fucking dumb. You're dead if you do that. No, no shit. I I uh, I would act like their friends right away. I would act like Al Qaeda's friends right away. I would also okay. just try to figure out a way to stay alive, and then I'd, I'd also. But mentally, try to... you're loyal. Oh, loyal. Yeah. Doesn't matter what country, you're loyal to them. I'm loyal to. Like if you're Al, yeah. Al Qaeda. Yeah, I'm loyal to Al Qaeda. ISIS. <laughs> you're loyal to them. No, I don't. I don't. I'm loyal to people i uh, i agree with but also i was a kid white and supremacy. i joined i joined the army yeah. white supremacy yeah i'm not yeah, i am loyal. loyal to the whites <laughs> I'm loyal to the germans because i'm german uh what else <laughs> the chinese because i was born in hong kong uh yeah. okay yeah okay. so I'm, I'm good with the chinese and the germans what were they on what side were they on? <laughs> um so you, yeah, you'd be you'd be a loyal Nazi then. I feel like no, nah, I I feel like I would no, I, I feel like I I'm not an like asshole. Like America caught you. Amer yeah, I'd go go. Let's go America. Let's turn around and start fighting. Like honest, yeah. Or you're just lying about it. <laughs> Who where where am how am I starting here? Am I German right now? Yeah, you're a Nazi. I'm a Nazi. Got caught by the U.S. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and then and then what's. You're asking if I would join the U.S.? Yeah. Why am I a Nazi? Did I join? 
Yeah. Did I join to be a Nazi? Yeah. You, oh, then you, I'm full Nazi. That's what I'm asking. Yeah. I And I would figure out a way that I stayed alive. There's a lot of Nazis that were still alive. All the people, all the scientists, they're all Nazis. They right. all, they just went and took all the, all the doctors and scientists and stuff. <laughs> I'm not asking about other people. I was only asking for your <laughs> answer. I feel like uh, I feel like if I was if, I, if you're a Nazi, you're a Nazi for life. If I was a Navy SEAL, I was a Navy SEAL for life. So unfortunately, wow. yeah, that's really you know cool. it's sad to say that if I was swayed, if I was grew up somewhere, I was just a really good shot. I just I just really wanted to be the best, the soldier. <laughs> My brain, um, I don't yeah. I don't know. I don't agree. <laughs> <laughs> I don't agree. You just said you'd flip flop immediately. Oh yeah, yeah. So you're our yeah. You're opposite I'm me. a flip flopper. You're I just whoever holds the cards. My brain is always like, "What's wrong with the side I'm on?" If they're fighting them, and then I debate myself, and then I'm like, "Well, I have to give everybody a chance." And yeah. then I'll I'll get sucked in as soon as they start talking to me. I'm like, "Your side does sound better." <laughs> I mean, yeah. If I was, uh, I think. I like to think that I, I have a good moral compass. That if I was like, uh, if I was in the war just because I was forced to be, and then I got captured, like that also happened to my opa. Hmm. And then so when he got captured, he's like, yes. <laughs> he just was like, I just don't want to die. He's like, I don't want to kill people, and I don't want to die. Hmm. And so he um, he did a bunch of risky stuff so that he didn't have to be on the front lines. Hmm. And then uh, and they got captured because his uh, his commanding his captain. Um, wanted to go meet his girlfriend in the tank and they just went to a, <laughs> a check a checkpoint mm. got captured hmm. so that's the way you want to go for sure and then he just had to go into a potato field for a few years they let him play soccer that sounds great he won some english championship in soccer oh or in football i guess crap. you'd call it in german holy crap <laughs> <laughs> holy actual crap uh so okay worst part of the week <laughs> um my worst part was hurting my knee yeah you did that pretty good i just twisted it it felt like all the bones separated in my knee and then came back together when i twisted it back it felt like gross jelly it felt like if I stepped down, my bones would have slid beside each other and I my leg would have been half the size. Oh, man. That's what it felt like. <laughs> She's younger in age, folks, but her bones are brittle. My bones are very, very brittle. Yeah. Got... Sensitive little duck. Yeah. Yeah. So. That sucks. It sucks. And we were going for runs. Yeah. Like almost so I think every you're day. So I think just pacing it a little bit. Should yeah, be but it was just so fun. It was fun. I was having so much fun. I know. But so. just like weed, too much fun is a bad thing, apparently. Too much of everything is can lead in de- yeah. to death. Even like cigarettes. Did you know that? I didn't know Alcohol. That. That's not good for you. No way. It sucks. It actually sucks. Well, proof. Know. Everyone that's dead. Proof. <laughs> yeah, they're all dead. They're not talking. Who knows? Provide how, it. How did Pro- the doctor provide find out? Provide the proof. Tell me it was cigarettes. That provide killed them. the proof already. <laughs> <laughs> Um, um your best and worst my best and worst right uh my best uh was i was gonna say lollipops too <gasps> but you said that shut already. the front yeah it's been door, a lot of fun young fella it's been a lot of fun i i i think though i've had a hard week it's been up and fun i i got i picked up my kids early today mm-hmm. um, before their mom was off work and uh so i got to hang out with them for an hour mm-hmm. and we just cuddled and played and wrestled and it was the best hour <laughs> so it was a lot of fun and you were playing it was really cute mm-hmm. uh and, and i had one-on-one time with both of them for just a little bit so that was really a lot of fun that was probably my best part of my week so far Aww. yeah outside of lollipops but I, we had a lollipop after that was enjoyable oh wait we didn't we had marshmallows we had s'mores we still get to have a lollipop later we still get to have a lollipop later that's my to... best part <laughs> My worst part is, uh, I mean, smoking. That has not been fun. Yeah. I, I just want to smoke all the time. The lollipops. Do you still, are, no, still? I've pushed past that. And now it's, the lollipops are enjoyable. It's just, I wanted something to do. Yeah, I know. And, uh, and I realized that smoking uh, a joint or something, or even the vape, um, it's, it's almost like meditation because you have to take a yeah. slow, deep breath. 
you know, and it it's like, oh no, I I don't like smoking. My body doesn't like smoking. I'm not better if I smoke. Um, it's good to go outside and breathe. Yeah. And so that's what I figured out. And the lollipop is a nice thing um, uh, to to do while you're outside because it's also weird for some reason. No one else other than smokers go. Hey, do you just want to go sit outside for a little bit? Yeah, I know. Do you want to go chat outside? Yeah, I know. It's nice. And you know what? I missed. Um... I was missing us going outside yeah. all the time and chatting, even though we'd have to be like far apart because yeah. I can't handle yeah. smoke. And again, whenever I say this, I just think of my dog being like, oh, no reason to go outside, eh? No reason you can think of to go outside, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's, in- that's interesting what you said last night on the podcast. When you were- yeah, no, it was cool. Um, no reason, eh? <laughs> Sorry, Scouty. She's not even here. Oh, she's not even here. <laughs> Poor Scouty. Poor Scouty. Uh, is that, did I do best and worst? Um, worst was quitting smoking. Yeah, that. And it was just like, I had a lot of, I, I would have said, uh, I think maybe smoking was like a, two weeks ago that I had to deal with that. Um, I think I've, had a, I've had to write a long text message mm-hmm. at least once a day for the last, like every, for the last week. <laughs> it has been not fun. <laughs> You have to like talk to an adult and like an adult and it just sucks. And it's like a friend and your friends are going through hard times and, uh, and they just go, let's just, let's just have a not fun chat. And you're like, all right, I guess we're having a not fun chat with a friend. So that's been, uh, it's been not great, but, uh, the kids really helped out. That mm-hmm. was nice. And then I was really proud of you for going to, um, your, uh, you did a little meeting thing. You're going back to work soon. That's part of your worst part? Best. Oh, being proud of you for doing that and oh, then going thanks. with you and, and, uh, and helping out there a little bit. Thank you. Yeah. I think it's going to be good. Great. And I'm proud of you for doing that. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. That's it. Bees and wees are officially rap, 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 that was a cool drop. That was really cool. Where did that come from? Oh, we, we was spent that some money. Yeah, we spent some money. You don't <laughs> we, remember? You don't remember doing that? That was a drop. Much? I just pressed the drop button. How much? A lot. Really? Yeah. Is it is it drained? Are we drained? We were a little bit drained. We need some people to sign up for our Patreon. Oh yeah. Yeah. If you want to hear more details about Sam quitting smoking or. Anything. Know. Oh, we have. Uh, there's. You can see us do stand up. Yeah, our stand up um, set is on there yep. now, and it's a fun little ten minute. I'm thing. doing something called toilet talks. Yeah, Riley's got some toilet talks going on. Because I decided to um, do mini pods by myself. It's been pretty fun on the toilet. It's been really fun <laughs> to edit it after. Yeah, Sam doesn't get to hear it. No, um, it's just me by myself. Bobby's not even there. Bobby's Sam's not, not even there. there. Bobby's not there. It's just me. I was actually... Oh, that's good to know. I thought Bobby was in the bathroom with you. No. Okay, that's good. No. I was thinking about doing a toilet talk. Um, it's just me and your ears <laughs> in that toilet yeah. together. And it's about the same time that someone might have a hard toilet time, and they might just want to listen to you talk about the toilet. While right, you, no, yeah. well, I don't know about the toilet. You don't just talk about toilets. <laughs> I don't talk about toilets. <laughs> but it's just to have someone to chat, someone to listen to. They're like 10 to 15 minutes. Yeah. So like, how long are you pooping, you know? Exactly. And if you poop longer Throw than the toilet talks, there. go talk to somebody. I've already talked to people. Don't worry about it. FODMAP. FODMAP. Switch to FODMAP. It <laughs> if, helps if, right okay. away. It's This is actually a health recommendation. Yeah. If your poop takes longer than one of my toilet talks, what I say? <laughs> Go talk to someone. Go FODMAP. Do FODMAP. FODMAP. Yeah, look up you have to do the FODMAP. FODMAP thing. It sucks. It doesn't suck, actually. You just can't have garlic or onions. And that's the doctor's guarantee. And apparently garlic powder on your powder is a terrible thing for you. Garlic powder is a really bad thing. Pending you, you, you eat as much salt and vinegar shake as I did over a year and a half. Um, so I think it's only bad if you do that, but uh, I don't think it's good anyway. Hmm. It used to be my favorite flavors. Now it gives me diarrhea. Yeah. So I think it burned all your insides. It did. Uh, okay. Um, we have. <laughs> 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 I'm 
Oh, all right. Uh, all right. <laughs> Um, what do you what do you have for me? I have uh, some things. Uh, oh yeah, I've got some hockey news, and I've got uh, a funny story. I'm not sure if I've told you. Okay, give uh, it to and me. I, and I got another installment of our of our favorite. It. No, we yeah, don't have not, time. It's not sexual. We don't have time. It's for not it. sexual. This time. We don't have time. It's Devin Sweeney. I have to do my thing. We don't have time. <laughs> what do you? Yeah, what do you have? I have one thing, and I <laughs> and we don't have time. Okay, let's start with your thing, and then we'll see how much time we need. Okay. So, what I want to <laughs> talk about. Stalling so we don't have to. I'm listening. I'm going to play it. Maybe I'll play those on my toilet talks. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> um, Miranda, Miranda Sings. Miranda Sings. Yeah. Yeah. You know. The incomparable. Mar- <laughs> you, what's your experience with miranda sings uh i know that she's a youtube personality Mm -hmm. i know that she was on comedians in cars getting coffee Mm -hmm. and her character is very annoying but it's on purpose yes uh that's it and she annoys me really that's it that makes sense yeah so everybody when you appreciate the 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 the, i don't know whatever you call her so i'm gonna go i'm gonna do a positive sandwich here okay (laughs) Because. Positive sandwich. <laughs> Tell your sex tape. Boom. <laughs> um, so when you first hear about her, <laughs> um, she, and like you first see her and he, hear her, yeah, she's super annoying. Yeah. When you actually like watch her TV show yeah. and go, oh, she wrote all this, yeah. you go, she's brilliant. That's pretty funny. Yeah. It's really, really funny. It's like Napoleon Dynamite. Yes. Yeah, I realized that after. Yeah. Yeah. But I get what everybody's saying when she, I thought she was annoying too, but That's I had never point. watched her. That's the point. That's though. the point. Yeah. Um, positive sandwich. So this is just one negative thing about her uh-huh. is that she's a child predator. <laughs> what? What's that? And happen? then one more positive thing. <laughs> I'm okay. I'm All right. Kidding. What's the more positive thing? <laughs> She kidding. was on Comedians and Cars getting coffee. Just kidding. That's crazy. Um, Actually? Yeah. So I what guess, is with all these YouTube guys that you're showing me that they're like, he's fucking a teenager? Yeah, you started getting into YouTube drama recently. Like that one video on well, David I was Dobrik. No, I just showed you a video. I went, I went, no, it started with you. I went, hey, isn't this funny? And you went... Oh, oh yeah. yeah, yeah. He's a he. He uh, dates minors, and I went, yeah. "What's that?" And then, and then you're like, "He's friends with this other guy that you know." And I'm like, "Oh, good." And he's like, "Yeah, he had rape char or whatever." Yeah. I was like, "What are you talking about?" <laughs> it keeps going because they're all like friends with each other. How so is Logan chain... Paul <laughs> made it out of this? <laughs> How is it? no one that's, saw that? That's the thing is that they're all gonna make it out, even if they rape people, they make it out. Right. Or like videotape. A rape. I don't know if we're allowed to say rape this much. Oh, grape. That's what people say on mm. on YouTube now. So when I was graping someone last night. <laughs> <laughs> so anyways. So I was graping this <laughs> orange. Uh, this grape and this peach. <laughs> I was graping this grape. <laughs> so it was just that orange and me. A grape. A graper. <laughs> 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 Tell me a word I can't use. I'm gonna use it, and I'm gonna make you not want me to say it anymore. This, this, this is the one that we should use. You're not gonna like it soon. My okay. grandma did. Sorry, I'm gonna get sidetracked now. <laughs> My, grandma. <laughs> My grandma, by the way. <laughs> hey, you know what? No, my grandma. <laughs> <laughs> all right <laughs> what were we talking I don't about know. uh i was gonna ask you if you're it was this was a, a oh miranda sings miranda sings oh, i had a question i didn't want to forget should i okay, write it just, down just ask it just uh, ask it we'll come back to miranda I, I wanted to ask you this question a while ago uh do you think that your ability to be off of phones um is that because you watched your parents have phones like they have, have smartphones because my parents didn't have smartphones like my parents barely didn't even really have cell phones until a certain point until mm-hmm. my dad's company made them. Right. I didn't have smartphones just to give you a little timeline. Yeah. Um, smartphones didn't come out till I was like grade, like not come out, but like 
get popular within yeah. my school to like grade nine. No, but your parents. I'm saying seeing your parents. I, so I'm saying them. like there's no smartphones until like I was oh, in like grade I see. nine, ten. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So like, like I didn't. The phones I had, the phone I had before yeah. didn't have, you can go on the internet or anything. It was just right. like text. Oh, okay. That's interesting. And then I think I had a Blackberry, so I had BBM. Yeah. Nice. But like that was, that was all. You had MSN. I had MSN on my computer, yeah. but I didn't use it once I was texting. Right. Was Facebook already a thing? Facebook was a thing. Facebook came out when Gross. I was under age to get it you had to be like 14 or 16 or something and i wasn't that age yet gotcha so facebook came out when i was quite young Oh, okay i was just wondering um about uh why i can't put down my phone because i never like saw anyone really use it so now it's just like this is so fun it's it's like learning it's like learning a a bad habit by yourself and you're just like this is the best yeah whereas um, i've heard like young kids seeing their parents that makes them use the phone less because they're like you just guys seem like zombies you know what possibly yeah because also my dad was always on his phone because he was my dad also same thing yeah my dad was always gone or on yeah so dad always on his phone and then when smartphones did come out Mm -hmm. My mom, I love you, but <laughs> as soon as anything comes in on her phone, she'll be mid-sentence and be like, <laughs> <laughs> and then you've lost her. You can't say anything so while funny. she's typing and reading. She needs to, t- she, so your mom needs to look at her text right away. Yes, immediately. And then text back right away. Yes. And then and comes back gone. to whatever she's doing. Yeah, she's gone. And then sometimes <laughs> she'll type. And then she'll keep typing because they sent a message back already. Oh, so she's just talking go, now. She'll just go check other things. <laughs> and she'll be... <laughs> and then finally, I'll be like, hello. And then she'll be like... I'm Standing listen-. in front of her. And then she'll be like, I'm listening. <laughs> and I'm like, well, what did I just say? I was talking the entire time. <laughs> That's so funny super funny oh man that's classic mom so yeah maybe yeah but yeah I, I like to think that i have good discipline yeah you're really good at it you help me a lot the fact that you can just do that mm-hmm. uh, i can do that with a lot of things but i can see you do it with other things that i'm not good at and i'm just like oh like that's that's something i need to actually be disciplined about mm-hmm. um other things i can do naturally yeah but something like that i'm like oh that's actually something hard for me that i need to do yeah when i like I'm set on something, mm-hmm. I force myself to do it. And you don't use the screen time app to shame yourself? Not to at all. To lock your phone? No, not at all. Have you tried that stuff? I have, and it was... You get really good at typing in your password. <laughs> you just like okay. that fast, and then unlock. Look at that. Unlocked again. Wait, what? When you set a, a lock, you can lock an app after a certain time. Oh, yeah. I've never done that. Oh, yeah. I used to do that. But then all your, all your apps are locked. <laughs> I've never had to do that. I've never <laughs> felt the need to do that. Mm, yeah, that makes like, sense. Like, I never feel like social media is taking over my life. It's it's always for a purpose. Right. Like, another thing that I use it for anxiety-wise is, like, if I'm waiting in a waiting room mm-hmm. and I, I'm not just going to sit there and look around. I've been doing that recently. Yeah, I, I think you told me it's that. It's been fun. It's so and, and weird to me. It's so weird that now it's 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 weird if you don't look at your phone, if you're just looking around mm-hmm. or just like wondering what to do or like looking around the magazines or whatever. Mm-hmm. People think you're weird now. Yeah. But that used to be normal. So now I just like to sit in a line and look around. And if someone looks at me, I'm like, <laughs> I give them a little smile, like a frog smile. That's funny. I nod my head. Is it? We're both in today. That's all it is. <laughs> Oh, you're you're here today too. <laughs> Good luck today. Yeah, that's funny. For for my anxiety, I I just go on my phone and I just scroll. I'm not even really looking at anything. Yeah. I just need to be like doing something <laughs> and not have to look at people. You're really good at it and you get it better. Okay, Miranda sings. Thank you for indulging okay, me. Okay. Back to the So that brings me to my next point. Next point. Miranda sings <laughs> Miranda the child sings, predator. <laughs> 
she apparently has like she would make friends with all her fans Mm -hmm. in like a miranda sings fan club chat yeah thing and she became friends with a bunch of fans (sighs) i'm craving sushi yeah i know i was already thinking of that oh man i just feel like i sniffed it (laughs) okay she became friends with her fans which her fans are children right and then she started asking inappropriate questions so she'd be like when did you lose your virginity what's your favorite sex position um oh geez tell me when you guys started your periods tell me like oh my god like a bunch of weird stuff and then at one point um girls or boys both oh oh, yeah (laughs) (laughs) hell yeah bro there we go here we go We got some hot goss. Um, Yeah, and then at one point, one of the guys said something. Like, I think he's a, I think he was like a gay guy or something. He might have, it might have been a girl. Mm -hmm. Don't quote me. Um, But they said something like that their ass looks good in this group message. They said, my ass looks great today or something. And then... She said something like, "Pics, please," or "Send, send pics." Oh, so is that it? It's just been like talking. Yeah. Okay. Messaging and stuff, and then she would. Um... So she actually hasn't like, like, uh, um, captured a child <laughs> predator. No. So there's a little bit more though. Okay. She also would add them on snapchat uh-huh. and then she would snapchat these kids she was just sending pictures to kids she was just talking to these kids and she would confide in them and she would like talk about her marriage and her divorce and like all this crazy stuff that she was going through to these kids oh my god super weird i mean that's kind of what happens on like discord and minecraft and all that stuff right um with famous people uh sometimes yeah oh weird yeah um and then there's been a bunch of stuff coming out now that like she used to sexualize children at her shows no (laughs) (laughs) she used to fuck kids at her shows (laughs) she would bring she would bring kids up like all throughout her entire show and then there was times where she would say like she'd grab a girl up that had normal clothes on she's kept putting her fingers in their mouths <laughs> with like like not skimpy but like yeah. a little bit more skin showing and then like a some... brat doll yeah Basically a brat doll a little bit All right. and then the other she would bring up another kid that looked like her that was dressed like miranda and then she would say porn not porn porn not porn and these are kids <laughs> that's weird and then she would talk about like why it's porn and and there was a bunch of other stuff that she kind of did to kids on stage. That was just weird. Like what? <laughs> <laughs> like just more shit like Every that. Day. And there were just a couple other things. <laughs> like if you were like, and there's a couple other stuff she did. But like, we don't want to talk about those things. Are they worse than that? No. Okay. I'm just saying like, I can't remember the details. Oh, gotcha. I've just seen a bunch of videos about it. Gotcha. But yeah. Oh man. So Positive Sandwich she's a really good singer really well. good well her last name is sings exactly yeah so is she actually a good singer she actually is oh wow like okay. the real person is a good singer yeah what's she her was real on Broadway. name what's her real name colleen ba- ballinger <laughs> made a good decision eh Mm-hmm. well the nice thing is that she can just go back to that name and then change her name again and then miranda sings can die and then she's someone else Everybody is referring to her as her real name when oh. people are talking about it. They're not saying Miranda Sings. They're saying Colleen Ballinger. <laughs> Fox Kids. <laughs> is a child predator. She's Yeah, she's just... She's just Get doing, her off the internet. She's doing recon, if anything, right now. She's not actually oh, a predator. <laughs> she would also comment on um, how, like, skinny, how skinny the kids looked. She would say, like, oh, your arms look really skinny in that photo. Oh. They look great. Oh, your legs look really skinny in that photo. They look good. Oh, man. I feel like if I had, like, let's assume here I have a wild fan base of children for some <laughs> some reason. 
and they're all wanting to talk to me, I feel like if I, I feel like you shouldn't talk to them at all because right. even if I were like, if the kid, let's just say like I missed that part, I shouldn't have added them to my phone <laughs> or, <laughs> or Snapchat and I'm just getting pictures from kids. Yeah. What do you say? You know, it's like nice, I think nice legs. Yeah. Now, actually, as I said it, <laughs> wait, what? I was gonna be like, how do, what, how do you compliment, what do you compliment the kid? Like, oh yeah, you just say fun, you say fun. But I'm sure if someone messed up a little bit, it would sound real bad. But she's probably, I mean, she sounds like she's done this a lot. Yeah, she was like grooming a bunch of kids. Yeah, no, yeah, grooming's bad. Yeah, yeah, that's crazy. Super it's weird. It's insane that people still do this on with smartphones. What do you mean? Like with smartphones where everything's recorded. And you have text mm-hmm. message history. It it was it used to be risky to call someone and like and do that kind of stuff. Mm-hmm. Now predators can just go online. We need to talk about this. What? Oh, you and me. We decided to. We heard this thing that if you just if you look up oh. teen chats, yeah, in your area, or whatever, mm-hmm. you log in. We called ourselves Lil Chick. 69. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was like 13. Like, little chick 13. And and honestly, you just we just hit join the chat and we mm-hmm. just wrote hi. Yeah. And the and this guy that was just like, you'll be appalled. What happened? So we so did the, it. But the guy that we're talking about is the number one hacker in yeah. the world or yeah. something like that. He's yeah. like a really good hacker, but he hacks for good. Yeah, he's so cutting he was, child predators. Yeah, so he was in this interview um, with... I don't know who what that other guy's name is. The Sean uh, something. Show. Oh man, it's a, I don't know. I don't know. Look up number one hacker Sean something. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you'll find it. Um, so yeah, they did that interview. I watched the entire thing because yeah, it, it was so about, interesting. It got weird. It was so interesting yeah. though, and he was like, if you just go on any teen chat and you type in hi immediately you'll have a bunch of messages and i was like all right yeah he's like just go to google and go and just write search teen chats my area yeah it's insane yeah so then little chick 13 little chick signs in we said hi and then instantly hundreds like so many messages was like let me see your vagina hey (laughs) how old are you are you sure you're 13 could you be less yeah (laughs) They're like, do you have younger siblings? Oh yeah, that's, if we ever, gross. if we ever like, uh, even if we were just like, uh, we just, you would say, I'm 13. Yeah. And they'd be like, that's hot. I'm, I'm <laughs> that 80. Sounds great. I'm 84. <laughs> <laughs> we have a lot in common. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then they'd be like, how do you have any younger siblings? Yeah. And they'd ask if we do weird stuff with our younger. Like we didn't even. It we're was like, so gross. We're oh, just like, this is warning, weird. By the way. Oh, this trigger warning. Yeah. <laughs> Bobby, go back and put trigger warning before. <laughs> I feel like if there was a trigger warning, was anyone listening to any of these episodes? I mean, this is a lot, though. Oh, yeah. I feel like a lot. this is a lot. Yeah, it's weird. It's though. a heavy topic. It's a real heavy topic. But no, it was just fake. Like, they, well, not fake. It was We weren't a real kid. Yeah. But it was insane to know that that's out there for your kids just to Google and sign in. Yeah. And there's just, it's just full of, of, uh, of guys, weird guys. And one guy, one guy said, I bet you're not, uh, um, he said something. He wanted us to give him his phone number and have a chat and like to to do FaceTime. We said, he said he was like, he said he was 30 or something. And he's like, um, let's chat. And you're like, I got to ask my mom first. Yeah. And he's like, okay. He was like, what did she say? What did she say? (laughs) So And he said, I'm 13. He's like, he's like, yeah, but I don't think we're not going to do anything bad like right away starting to get these kids like taking any pressure like other guys were really not good at it not that you can Mm -hmm. be good at it but they were more cognizant of like we'll just chat what's Mm -hmm. the problem yeah i was so gross yeah a lot of them wanted us to let them jerk off in front of us yeah hey (laughs) can you just give me a call quickly and how funny would it have been if we facetime one of them and we were both just like hi hi You're on Sam Ride, you catching a pedophile. <laughs> Genius. Genius. That's a million dollar idea. <laughs> <laughs> we it's should call virtual. it Sam Ride, do pedophiles. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's weird, dude. Did you, have you ever talked to a pedophile online? Um. Mm, like. Not 
me by myself. I never really talked to strangers by myself. I didn't know about that until way later in right. high school. Oh, you didn't know about that? Yeah, I wasn't a girl searching the internet. I had right. ever sent and I was happy. <laughs> yeah, um, I was happy. <laughs> <laughs> so, but this one time, should I tell this? I think so. It's a deep, dark story. I think that would be great. I'm not going to say names. I'm not going to say names. Um, me and some friends were going on Omegle. This is in high school. Mm-hmm. Going on Omegle because that's what they did, apparently. Yeah. And that's what they were doing long before I knew. Your friends? Yeah. yeah. And they had just started no inviting me No one told me about this. this. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we were on Omegle, just flipping through, whatever. And then they... I don't know, they deep faked it or whatever they did, but they made it look like Drake was there. Right. I'm not a fan of Drake. (laughs) I don't care. (laughs) But they're freaking out. And then he's like, like he can't, his microphone doesn't work. Right. So I can only type. And I'm like, guys, this is not believable. Yeah. And they're like, it's Drake, it's Drake. (laughs) And then they said that they wanted my friends to just show their boobies <laughs> to the camera and they were How like old were you guys? My, i don't remember we were in high school probably earlier high school 14? Like probably 14, are you guys 15, driving yet 14 15 okay wow yeah they were like we're gonna go in one by one and show the camera our boobs and i was like what are you guys talking <laughs> we about we can't right show now? each other that'd be weird yeah <laughs> and so i left and one by one and then one by one they went in and then they were like you go in now and i was like yeah sounds good i went in and i went i'm not i typed i'm not doing that yeah and i was like there's no fucking way i'm doing that and then my friends came back and they're like you you done you i was like do it. i was like yeah i'm done <laughs> oh did he did he write and then, on you and then they read it and they were like oh you do it they're not gonna sing the song then <laughs> i'm like guys that's fucking gross it's so fucking weird yeah i was opposed so, big news about Drake on this episode, too. Yeah, he's a child predator. <laughs> <laughs> Drake is a child predator? Drake is a question mark? <laughs> it's quizzical. <laughs> um, yeah, what about you? Have you talked to a pedophile? Uh, yeah, probably a bunch. Uh, one, that I know, <laughs> one that I know of, for sure. Um, well, it, at, at the time, I didn't. But mm-hmm. looking back on it... I remember on ICQ, you could just, this is before MSN, you could just... I don't know what ICQ is. I don't know. It's, it's, uh, it was like a, a messaging app before MSN. Was it similar? Yeah. Okay. Um, but you can make it very colorful. Mm. You can make it insane. It's like fuchsia. Yeah. It was a lot. Fuchsia. It was a lot. Fuchsia. <laughs> and seafoam. <laughs> and and tur- turquoise. <laughs> uh, and, uh, and, but you could just go like, meet a friend meet a friend button and it would just search the world and it would connect to you. And the first thing that you learn, someone tells you is, uh, when you first start doing it, they, everyone's going, uh, um, what is it? E- not ESL. That's, uh, English. <laughs> uh, what do they say? Uh, I can't, I'm blanking on it. Oh, uh, oh age. ASL. Yeah. Age, sex, location. Mm-hmm. And Cause then I go, I went, I don't know what that means. And then went age, sex, location. And then it's like age, 13 sex yes please yeah Ah, (laughs) Ah, boom boom, back then (laughs) uh and location is none of your business and i would always go canada (laughs) (laughs) just in case they i didn't want them to be able to track me (laughs) so then like what else you need to know it'd be weird and so i remember talking to a bunch of people i talked to so many people one that sticks out was a girl my age who decided to send me pictures of her in lingerie (laughs) And how old were you? I was I was 12, 13. <laughs> she was my age. And I'm realizing now, like it took me until like I was just, th- I was t- telling someone about this and the, the image of the picture flashed in my head and I went, she's not taking those photos. It's Good not a selfie. God. And there wasn't like cell phones back then to set up a camera. That's so funny. So I'm like, oh, some weird guy has pictures of little girls and he's using them as bait for little boys. That's insane. Yeah, it's weird. Fucking bonkers. Yeah. So gross. And then I met another person that wanted to meet and it was in my city. And I <laughs> I went to the 
um, the hockey arena. <gasps> I was also like, wait, you like actually, actually said you there. were gonna meet? Yeah, I was gonna meet. It was a girl. <gasps> and uh, were you hoping she'd be your girlfriend? No, I just talked to her. Oh, you just talk to her. Yeah, I was like twelve. Okay. Thirteen. I mean, it'd be cool. It'd be cool. You, that would have been cool. You would have thought. You thought that though at the time. You're like maybe. Uh, I think I was. Uh, yeah, I was. I was just trying to have any girl's attention. Yeah. Um, and then I got to the arena because I was, I was, I had just had this other experience. I'm like, this could be a guy I could get, I could get taken. I don't want it to get taken. And Funny. so I, I, I looked and I think she was like two years older than me and like a tall stock, like a, like a big girl, not a big girl, but like a, like an older kid, just like weird. Right. And I was like, oh, I'm good, man. I just saw her and like, I got scoped it out and I was like. Peace. <laughs> I'm like, I'm out. <laughs> Did she I brought a, a prof- friend. I brought a friend. Did she send you a picture? No. So you didn't know what this girl was going to look like? No. And you're like, well, let's meet. Yeah. Oh my God, that's crazy. Yeah, and she just kind of gave me a weird vibe. No I'm sure kidding. she was just a regular kid that just had no friends. Yeah. That's crazy. But already it's like, I'm good. <laughs> that's my first ghost. <laughs> <laughs> and i've been a player ever since you i think, know what I, think I went back and i was like this makes me uncomfortable meeting somebody or whatever that's really funny yeah you're probably a child predator <laughs> <laughs> here touch me in weird places uh funny all right, all right. what do you want to talk about uh i was going to talk about stanley cup uh we talked about how it ended already mm-hmm. um it's just come out with you know how usually I told you in the playoffs, all the hockey players play with injuries and they don't report them because they don't want anyone to know they have like a weakness or whatever. Mm -hmm. So at the end, you kind of find out what the injuries are and you know how your team just shit the bed, uh, the Florida Panthers Mm -hmm. that you got really sad because they got so slow. Do you know why they were so slow? Why? Everyone is injured on their team. Oh, poor Everyone is like, they got the shit kicked out of them by beating all those players. So, Um, I've written this down yeah, here. Yeah, because I watched it and I went, why is Vegas so, so fast? So much better. Because they were faster than anyone before. They were so, so fast. Like, comparatively, like, just out yeah. lapping them. Uh, lapping them. <laughs> uh, okay, so I've written down the different injuries. So there were four of their best players were just horrendously injured. <laughs> um, so remember the Montour guy? that He, just, he yeah. was the defenseman that was light, like, he was just getting so many goals. Uh, mm-hmm. And then he took that weird hit. So apparently he he had to pass concussion protocol. Uh, he's getting surgery right now for a torn labrum, which is in your shoulder. It's the thing that it's the cartilage that holds your shoulder in socket. And so he just destroyed. Remember how he was going off? And like it looks like his shoulder yeah. dislocated. Yeah. So his shoulder dislocated and ripped the socket off. Oh man. <laughs> um. And so he, I think he came back. He came back in game four and he got a goal. Yeah. A slap shot goal. Yeah. So it just came out. And then he had to leave again. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, there was the Gudis guy, the big guy with a big beard. Mm-hmm. Uh, he, they said he had a high ankle sprain. It's usually um, he, he'd be out for six to eight weeks. He missed one period, mm-hmm. which is cool. Cool. The badass guy. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> this is getting crazier. Um, so Ekblad, another one of their star defensemen, um, he, in the first round against Boston, he broke his foot. He's a broken foot. Uh, he took, probably took a shot in the foot or something. Mm-hmm. Um, he's had in the entire playoffs, he's separate, um, he separated his shoulder twice. Mm. Uh, so he had two dislocations, um, and he has a torn oblique muscle, which is on your side here beside your abs. Mm-hmm. Uh, so that happened to him. And then Kachuk, my boy, mm-hmm. remember how he just kind of, he got hit really hard. He left for a little while, came back, he played, he came back for game four. He got a goal. He pushed them to overtime. Only reason they won. Yeah. Uh, and then he wasn't there in the last game where they lost. Um, broken sternum. Mm-hmm. Broke his sternum. And then, and then came back and got the overtime goal. Mm-hmm. And then played the next game. Apparently, his brother, who's also a hockey player, he had to help him get in and out of bed the night before the fourth game and put on his jersey and tie his skates for him. <laughs> that sucks. Yeah. Oh, that sucks. They got the so shit kicked much. out of him. Yeah. So it's too bad. Even they the coach. They might have won. They might have won. 
That's why hockey's great. That's you, so you can just kick the shit out of a group of guys and win a trophy. Oh. <laughs> just normal goals. Man. And then the other thing is that I actually wanted to... This is something that you're, you've I'm gonna talked about. I'm sorry. We're going to talk about Devin, but it's not, it's not, he's not sucking, he's not sucking anybody's dick Uh, right now, but, uh, he's talking about people are, are shaming him for being chubby. They're calling him a chubby potato. Was this like before, like, did he have a weight loss transformation? I I don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't, I didn't, there's not much of a transformation, but he was saying that he's not actually overweight. My face may be big and fat. But that's just because I'm fat. And bitches, I'm proud of being fat, okay? A lot of fucking dumb bitches nowadays think that people are fat because they eat too much. Well, newsflash, motherfuckers, I barely fucking eat. I eat like one meal or two meals a day, if that. And of course, I eat a lot when I get the munchies and I smoke weed, but that's, that's a given. But honestly, this is a fucking potato, okay? And I am not a fucking potato. So you guys can just fuck off. (laughs) <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> i don't even i eat okay guys i eat one to two fucking meals a day guys all and right snacking's natural that doesn't count yeah i got, got the munchies when i smoke weed all the fucking time but that's a natural that's not it <laughs> outside of that two to three to five meals tops <laughs> <laughs> to six to eight <laughs> meals <laughs> I just think it's so funny when uh, I I don't mind if if I'm chubby I eat too much but it's funny when people go oh I I don't even eat can you believe yeah, I don't even no. eat like come on you sure yeah. about that you sure, <laughs> you sure about, about that, that? <laughs> you sure about that <laughs> I didn't fucking do this I didn't do this okay <laughs> I'm not worried about it I'm, I'm not, not worried about it <laughs> um. Yeah. It's just funny that, that that's what he he said the thing that people say. And of course, I just yeah, I eat a little bit. Oh, sue me. Oh, I can't have some snacks. Oh, I can't eat. I can't eat now. I can't have a snack and another snack and oh, another snack. I smoke a fucking bowl and I can't have a goddamn snack, you're telling me? You're telling me I can't have 10 bowls of Fruit Loops right now? <laughs> Weed's like celery, okay? It's <laughs> negative calories when you smoke it. You breathe out all the calories and then you can have a snack. Everyone knows that. It's so stupid. People are so stupid. People are so stupid. So yeah, I, that's why I am. That's why I'm not fat like a potato. <laughs> <laughs> this is a potato. You got really mad. This is a potato. This, I'm not a potato. I'm not a potato. <laughs> that's funny. Yeah, he did I not still... take being fat shamed. I, it looks like he's fatter in that yeah. video. I think he lost weight. On the opposite side of the spectrum, you know that that chef guy. <laughs> Which one? <laughs> the fat spectrum <laughs> which, which spectrum are we shifting here there's a few spectrum going on, on that last clip <laughs> no that old guy not that old guy he's like a he's like a southern rednecky kind of guy and he had like a he's like a cooking a cooking tiktok and he always makes weird oh, stuff yeah. but he's the nicest guy but it's always like you take a cup, you take a kale and a mayonnaise, you take a quart of ca- of catfish, you steam that in oil. <laughs> it's really funny. He's so calming. He's so calming. I love listening to him. I really like watching and listening yeah. to him. He's the best. But yeah, he had a big he, weight loss. I didn't realize he was a. I mean, it makes sense. He, he yeah. He, he cooks and he sounds like a big, big boy. Yeah, you can tell afterwards that he had like, like some loose. I guess loose skin. Skin up yeah. there. But he lost a ton of weight. Yeah. There's no way he's eating that food that he's making now. Yeah. He's like he's spitting it out. Now I used to eat this catfish. <laughs> He's going to get canceled for spitting it out. Yeah. This is a catfish, deep fried catfish. <laughs> um, Do you know what it means when someone says something's chicken fried, like chicken fried steak? Do you know what that is? No. There's something you can chicken fry chicken something. Chicken fry. Isn't that weird? Is it, is it just chicken fat that they're oil, that they're boiling? What? That's what I'm just is a guess. Don't react like it's something. <laughs> what? <laughs> meaning. Bobby, can you look up chicken fried meaning? Type faster. 
coated in seasoned flour pan fried that's all it is chicken fried it's just that so there's no chicken involved in chicken fried is there any chicken involved it, in chicken fried rice? It's which, with which the meat is breaded, breaded and cooked. It's similar to the preparation of fried chicken. So if you chicken oh, fry something, it's the same it's seasonings, it's the fry. same Gotcha. Bread chicken crumbs. fried catfish. Chicken egg, chicken egg, chicken fried. Chicken fried catfish, chicken fried steak, chicken fried. I, could, I can't remember how to do his voice again. I don't know what to... Oh, Who's? it was just his southern voice. Yeah. The southern guy. Yeah. You can't, can't fish. Oh, it doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> I give up already. Um, all right. Do you want to wrap this up and slap it up? Yep. Yeah? Or do you wrap it up, slap it up, burp it up, and slurp it up. Blurp it up, derp it up. Blurp it up and derp it up. That's what I'm doing. Yep. All right. Stinkers, blurp it up and slurp it up. Uh, we're going to be On the done. count of three. On the count of three. One... One two three three. this has been sam Sam and rye do talking i'm I'm sam Sam. she's right and we're we're done talking (laughs) i missed it i know i know i have heard i'm the only one with earphones on (laughs) love you take it away take it away mel everybody loves your podcast this week everybody that's great good reviews yeah, getting good reviews. <laughs> We're at Sam and Rye Do Things at Everything.com. You can check us out on Facebook. Gmail. Instagram. Text message if you know us. Patreon. Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> Email us at Sam and Rye Do Things dot, dot Gmail. I don't know. <laughs> All right.